Okay, so let's talk about factoring out a number. When we did distributive property, we had a number on the outside and we multiplied that number times both numbers inside. Three times two X is six X plus three times six is 18. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this and rewrite it like that. So let's take a look at this number. Three X to the sixth plus nine X cubed. Now. We need to find the greatest common factor, just like we did with the other problems. Three and nine. What's the number that will go into both three and nine? Three, giving me one and three. So I know that three is my number. I look at my variables and my smallest variable is x cubed. And now let me show you why that has to be that way. Because you're gonna take out a 3x cubed from each one of these. Now, it's kind of like division. What's 3 divided by 3? 1, I don't need to write that. Dividing what's 6 minus 3? Three, 3. See, if I would have had a 6 there, I couldn't have taken that out of the 3. Now, what's 9 divided by 3? Three? 3, and then the x cubed divided by x cubed makes 1. So then my answer is 3x cubed times x cubed plus 3. And that's factoring a digit out. If we were to multiply it back out, we would get this problem. Okay, so let's look at another one. 8x to the fourth minus 12x to the third plus 20x squared. So I need to find a number that goes into 8, 12, and 20. That's the largest number. All right, so um, 4 works. 4 goes into 8, 2. 4 goes into 12, 3. 4 goes into 25. So nothing else will work. What's my smallest variable? x squared. So that's what's on the outside, and I'm basically just dividing everything out. What's eight divided by four? Two, four subtract two is two. What's 12 divided by four? Three, three minus two is one. What's 20 divided by four? Five, the x squared equals one, so I don't need to put it. And that's how you factor out a number. So let me show you something that is the exact same thing, but instead of just one digit, we're pulling out a binomial. So let's say that I had x to the sixth times x plus three plus nine times x plus three. Now, your greatest common factor, if you had a three x, and a 6x squared. Let's make that a 5x squared. It'll make it more make sense. You could pull out an x, right? Here, I'm going to pull out a common term that is between both because this is one term. This is one term. What is something I can pull out of both this and this? the x plus 3. Now, what's left after I pull that out? The x to the 6th plus 9. And this is called factoring by grouping. So let's take a look at another one. 9x cubed times 2x minus 5 minus 4 times 2x minus 5. This is my common term that I'm going to pull out. And then what's left is 9x cubed minus 4. So what if 
they're not grouped like that. And it looks like this. Give me just a second to pull it up. one doesn't have anything grouped. So let's group these two together and these two together. Now I'm going to only look at this one right here. Can I take something out of x squared and 5x? I can't take out a number, but I can take out a letter. And what, how big of a letter can I take out? x. So I'm going to take, I'm just looking at this one, I'm going to take out an x and I have x plus five left. Now I'm going to look over here. I can take out a seven from seven and 35 and I can take out a Y. So that's going to be plus seven Y will give me X plus five. Looky there. Now I have a common term that I can pull out and then I'm left with x plus 7y. Let's do one more. So I'm going to group the first two and the second two together. I can take out a 5 and an A, leaving me with A squared plus B squared. Here I can take out a 9B, leaving me with A squared plus B squared. That's my common factor to pull out. And what's left over is 5a plus 9b. And that's factoring by...